What's going on, Card Pack? Today, we're going to look at the top 10 basketball cards that went up the most over the last week. And number one in particular is really interesting and says a lot to me about the overall market. So stick around. There's some really good stuff here. A couple reminders. The audios from these videos, you can check it out on the podcast. Link in description. And if you want to get my top sports card pick of the day, join the Sports Card Society. What are you doing? There's a membership area. I put up a new video almost every day. Short video, only about five minutes. I show the card data research reasoning as to why I like it and what I plan on doing with it. Here's a recent example. This Simone Biles card here. We were getting it for, I had to restart my computer, but we were getting it in March for around, oh, 20 bucks or so. And let's see if we can get back to where we were buying it at. I mean, there's not 15. And we were getting it for more like 20 bucks in March. And here it is. It's going for, well, it's going for some good money, huh? Uh, it's going for 70, 80 bucks. And I expect that to continue to go up as we get closer and closer to the Olympics because she is like the face of the Olympics. Anyways, let's dive into the content, boys and girls. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Help me get to 5,000 subscribers. Come on. I appreciate you. These things support the channel. Thank you, seriously. Here we are on the Market Movers Tool. Uh, LeBron James 2018 Revolution Base. What I did is I'm in the Market Movers tool. I went to Price Movements by Card, pulled up Basketball in the Grade PSA 10. You got to look at the PSA 10 because the entire market is based off of the PSA 10. So this Revolution Base here, pop count of 9826. In case you're newer to this, pop count means this card in this grade. That's how many of them currently exists. 32 sales of this card this week, so not a real high sales volume. Up 44%. Let's pull up the chart real quick, see like. What? Oh, by the way, I have a crypto channel too that I started. I'll put a link for that in the description if you want to check that out. Um, here's the chart. 32 bucks to start the week, 50 to end the week. That is a actually decent growth pattern, which surprises me. I like these Revolution cards. I think they're a little undervalued. Buy, sell, or hold this card. Um, let's pull it back. This is all this over. Wait, why do you say 90 days? Let's actually look at 90 days. Slide, 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 slide. I would be holding this card. Uh, by the way, as we go through here, I'm going to do buy, sell, hold. If you want to get emailed the buys from this video before the video publishes, Join the Card Pack newsletter. Link in description. It is free to join. Number nine on the list. DeAndre Hunter, 2019 Prism Base. Pop count of 1,052. 21 sales on the week, so that's about a 2% sales volume. That's pretty solid. Anything 1% plus, uh, I get a little extra attention to. Up 51%. Let's pull up the Chizart, my Hizomis. I'm so cool. <laughs> I'm hip. Uh, this card, started of the week 38, had a high sale of 65, and then went to 57. Kevin? Not Kevin. DeAndre? I think it's too risky to buy this right now. I mean, this is a, this is a, this is a hot, hot position to take because, you know, they're in the playoffs. They're doing well. They are certainly exceeding expectations. But how much further do we have to go? Let's pull this back 30 Diaz for you Espanol speakers out there. Habla Espanol. Took two years of Spanish in high school. I don't know anything. <laughs> it's sad. Boom. This card's still just been going down during the playoffs, really. I mean, but after they, of course, made it to the finals, this card went up. I would stay away from this. I'd probably sell it, honestly. Uh, next on the list, number eight, LeBron James, 2012. Prism, number one base. Pop count of only 493, huh? 18 sales on the week. Wow. That's pretty solid sales volume. That's like... Almost 4%, up 51.5%. Let's pull up this chart. This is interesting. 2012 Prism is the first year of Prism. So this is an iconic set. So to have a LeBron James in this set is why having him in this Prism, even though it's not his rookie, would be a valuable thing to do. 762 bucks to start the week, and then it popped up to 1155 from 654 That That seems fishy to me. Let's pull this back 90 days. Yeah, it's just been sliding down. It doesn't make sense to me. I think this is a bit of an outlier sale. It doesn't make sense. I think it might have been a shill bid. 
By the way, if you don't have a data tool, like I'm using this Market Movers tool here, which is certainly my favorite and the one I recommend, you got to have a data tool, people. You can't do sports car investing without it. I'm, ti- I'm, I'm, not, I'm tired of saying it, but I'm not tired of saying it because I know there's a crap load of you listening that don't have a data tool and you have no idea how much you are handicapping yourself. Get a data tool. I prefer Market Movers tool. I'll put a link in description for this with discount code SOCIETY for 20% off your first month or your first year, whichever subscription you choose. I don't think I'd be buying this right now because it seems to just kind of keep going down here. Um, I don't think it's hit bottom yet, but it's a good price. I mean, it was up here at 2000 and now it's down here at, you know, probably 700 Oof, I don't know how much lower it has to go. Um, let's zoom in on 30 days. So about 1000 bucks. But, you know, he just got out of the playoffs. I think it could still have some settling to do. I would keep an eye on this. What I'm going to do, what I would do is I would set a price alert here. Say, hey, when this car goes below 550 give me an alert. And they'll email me. Market Movers will email me when this card sells for 550 or below. But for right now, I'd be a hold on that card. Number, what, 10987 on the list. Kevin Herter. That's how you say his name. 2018 Prism Silver. Pop count of only 268. Seven sales on the week, so it's a decent sales volume, but again, you know, it, it's not quite as relevant when the pop cons is low. 53.5% is how much it's up this week. Let's pull up the chart, boys and girls. I don't know where you live, but it is getting hot as hell out here in uh, the West Coast. We are um, I mean, going to be in the 90s today, but um, we're going to get well over into the hundreds over the weekend. Uh, that we're in Seattle, that just literally never happens here. A lot of most places don't even have air conditioning because this place is rarely gets over 80, let alone 100. There's a, summers that go by that we never have a 100 degree day. So, yeah, anyways, I don't like it. 115 to start the week, 165 to end the week. I mean, is that who you want? <laughs> He doesn't even look like a basketball player. But this card's obviously been going up this week. I would sell it. I would sell it. Uh, what are we at? 10, 9, 8, 7, number 6 on the list. DeAndre Ayton, 2018 Prism Pink Ice. Pop count of only 241. 10 sales on the week. That's pretty hefty sales volume. Up 56.5%. Let's pull up his chart. Of course, DeAndre Ayton being a stud for the Suns. And the Suns look pretty good, man. The Suns look pretty good. I think it's 2-1 now against the Clip. Um, but I still think the Suns get in the finals. But this has been an unexpected playoff season, hasn't it? Nets lost. We got the Sixers lost. The Jazz lost. The Lakers lost. It's it's Clippers Suns <laughs> and Bucks Hawks. I mean, come on, this is a weird year. I like it though. One twenty to start the week. Two oh six latest sale. One eighty. Uh, depends on how you feel. Do you want to keep playing that hot hand? of them doing their thing, um, I think I'd sell. Because you probably got in a lot less than this. I think I'd sell. Oh, by the way, I've noticed that there isn't like much for sports card shirts at all. So I put together some designs with the dude. And uh, sportscardswag.com, I put that up. I've made a few designs. Uh, T-shirts and hoodies, like go check them out. Let me know what you think. And if you got some ideas for like... Um, other shirts like let me know you know you got idea for a cool a good saying or something like let me know next on the list Devonte graham 2018 prism base pop count of 15.33 seven sales on the week so about a half percent sales volume up 63 percent if you really like Devonte graham his his psa 10 is really cheap uh, and there probably isn't going to be a whole lot more of them made because it's not going to make sense for anyone to grade this card. 19 bucks to start the week. 39 bucks to end the week. Let's pull back 30 days real quick and see where this thing's really been. 30 days ago, 21. So mm, I don't know about that 39. I think it's really worth about 20, 25 bucks. I'm not buying it. I'd probably just hold it. Um, but if I did buy it, I would buy it on Star Stock because of the price point. Because um, here I could buy it for, you know, 20 bucks. And I wouldn't pay any shipping, and I wouldn't pay any sales tax, and I can relist it instantly. So, like buying cards at this low price, I don't really buy them off eBay because you got to pay for the shipping fee, 
and the sales tax. And that just sucks. If I buy a $23 card, I got $5 shipping, so now I'm at 28 and I got another 2 bucks tax, then I'm at 30, all of a sudden I paid 30 bucks for this card. So now I got to sell this card for probably like 45 bucks to even try to make a few dollars. It's just tall order on a percentage basis. Next on the list, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I always have trouble saying his name. 2013 hoop space. PopCon 18, 13, 17 sales on the week. So almost a 1% sales volume up. Almost 69%. Let's look at the chart. Come on. Chart, 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 chart. 415 to start the week. PopCon only 1,813. End of the week at 700, but right before it was 435. That seems suspicious to me, but I feel pretty good about the bucks. And it's Giannis. Let's pull back 30 days. Mm, been sliding, sliding, sliding. I mean, if, if you're buying cards of players that are actually in the playoffs right now, you're making the bet that they're winning it all. That's, that's what I think. I mean, granted, their cards will go up if they win their conference final, and you could make some profit there. You're banking on something like that, but you're banking on them maybe winning the finals too. I think this card I'm holding. So I haven't bought one of these cards yet. Next on the list, I have no idea who that is. I'm, is this a soccer player? Nifiondu Cabangele, 2019 Prism Base. Seven sales on the week. Doesn't give me a pop count. Up 70%. I'm guessing this is a soccer player. They don't make that. Wait, that would be weird because it's a basketball list. Who this guy is. Zero. Apparently he's on the Clippers. I mean, as my guess. Must have done something in one of the games that I didn't know about. Five and a half to nine bucks. It's a pretty good gain. Again, this card, if I were buying it, I would buy it on Star Stock because of the price point. I'd probably sell this card if someone will buy it. Next on the list, Zion. Got my eye on Zion. 2019 Prism Draft Picks, number 64 base, secondary photo. Pop count of 2207. 10 sales on the week. So the sales volume isn't crazy, only about half a percent, not even. Up 79%. Let's chart. Let's get our eye on Zion. Let's chart it. So, you know, draft picks, obviously, they're in their college jersey. 38 bucks start the week, then 71 then 70 I have a feeling that that was a dip down there and shouldn't have been selling at that, you know. Here, you see 52 38 well, but it jumped up. Interesting. I don't buy draft pick cards. With that being said, if I had this, I would probably hold it for the next season. Now, number one on the list, I found to be very, very interesting. This next one we're going to look at. I found it to be very, very interesting. Um, right, let's just look at it. It's Zion, but it's his Chronicles f- number 1584 Flux. Pop count of only 381. 12 sales on the week. That's that's an over 4% sale or over 3% sales volume. Up 92%. Do you even know what this card is? I don't. What, the why I really like this, let's chart it real quick. What I'm not just like, but what I what I really take away from this, you know, what I started the whole video with is it says a lot to me. I'm noticing a trend, people. This is the flux card. Interesting. Pretty cool card. I'm noticing a trend. Look at this pop count. 381. Oh, good job, genius. Low pop counts are good. You've been around a while. No, that's not what I mean. I'm more interested in, of course it's a little pop, but this is part of what I'm looking at. I'll get back to it in a second. 69 bucks to start the week, 68 and then it jumped up to 133. So that's interesting. It's kind of a big jump. But what I've been noticing, but you saw the sales volume on this thing, almost 3% sales volume. This thing is being bought. And I think Zion's approaching his bottom because he's been out for a minute. But what I'm really getting at is the trend I've been noticing is I've been seeing an increased sales volume in these alternative, lesser-known, low-pop cards of, you know, major players. Younger players, mostly like Zion, Ja, Trey, Luca. 
I, this is what I've been seeing, and it makes sense to me because if you look at it, you're like, well, the base is like seventeen thousand base prism. And it's like, well, you know, this is actually a rare, a r much rarer card. Why is it this price? Do I want to pay four hundred dollars for the seventeen thousand and rising pop count Zion prism, or would I want to pay like seventy, eighty bucks for this? Let's go to eBay real quick. I'd rather pay seventy, eighty bucks for this. And these are things, types of things that I've been kind of buying over time kind of like because for the same reason like it doesn't make sense so 70 bucks so that that sale was a little bit out of hand let's go back to the chart real quick let's pull back 30 days overall pretty stable not sliding down too much over the last 30 days unlike most other Zion cards um, let's go back to eBay real quick now I'm a buy on this I'm a buy on this card because look, you can get a pop count pop 381 Zion rookie, pretty cool looking rookie, for 70 bucks. Like that makes sense to me. So I'll put a link in the description for this card. Go ahead and go check it out. Um, for me, I'm buying, but you go check it out and figure out what you're doing. You can get this card for under 80 bucks. And there's it might be an auction or two going on, maybe. But yeah, I mean, to me, I just keep seeing this trend of young players and their lower pop count more alternative cards having high sales volumes i mean think about it doesn't that make some sense um like i said i was in the mark movers tool the basketball psa 10 over the last seven days there's a lot of stuff to do in here you gotta have a data tool folks put a link in the description for everything sports card society sportscardswag.com the podcast delta fact all this stuff Check out the links in the description. There's a lot of useful stuff in there, for real. And you got to have data tool, folks. Hit that sub button. Hit that like button. Support the channel. At least do that. Thanks for watching this video with me. Spending this time. I hope it was valuable for you. Stay classy. You're awesome. I'll see you tomorrow.